Jesus left 500 men and from the very day of Pentecost they affected 3,000 people and from 3,000 they went to 5,000 and in Acts 13 44 he said they took the how come we we are 10,000 but the city doesn't know we are there all our joy and gyration is in the auditorium we are celebrating, but the city is in darkness. The government is in darkness. The market is in darkness. Meanwhile, all of us go to the market every day. All of us are in the government. We are in the academia. How come they have not sensed the vibration? It means there is no witness in our spirit. We are just religious men that know how to carry out the routine and the cliche. Because when we go to the market, we don't look like Jesus. We don't resemble him. Paul and Barnabas enter the city. They say, this be the man that turned their walls upside down. But we have a generation where all we carry are titles. You are apostle, you are bishop, you are prophet. Yet, you are in a territory and they can't feel the impact. Not Paul. If Paul entire your city, the Bible said, Paul sat down and he saw a statue to the unknown God. It became a channel. And for two and a half years, he said he was debating with them in Ephesus until he raised some disciples. A point came, he entered the city. Because of the vibration that Paul caused, they stoned him to death. He said the disciples stood around him and he got up. When Paul stood up, Paul didn't say, let's go to the hospital. He said she saw me on, she saw you on Facebook. Yeah, Facebook now, Facebook. That she saw me. Yeah, she saw me. Yeah, she saw me. She saw me. Yeah, she saw me. Okay. I'm still folding you. Daniela, hold it up now. They, say, they always say, take your time. Oh. So the taking of the time is what I'm doing. Then we should rest. Daniela, please just do some stuff. Okay, now. Daniela, please rest. Don't take it slower. Okay, Daniela, too fast. 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 Daniela, too fast.
<laughs> also, do you like our new hair? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> you problem now. Hugs and kisses. Building colors. Bye. 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 They carried so much of God's government. That was why they were apostles. They were not apostles by Titus. They were apostles because anywhere they showed up, they brought the government of God. It's either you repent or you back out. They didn't come to entice men. They said, when I came unto you, I did not come with excellency of speech, declaring unto you the counsel of God. I choose to know nothing among you, save Christ and him crucified. I was with you in fear and in trembling, but I knew nothing. I only preach Christ so that your wisdom will not stand in the wisdom of men. Your faith will not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. He was setting men on fire. He was breaking men from the chains of darkness. How come? You have been in one class for four years, yet nobody feels your vibration. And then you run around and you say you are a Christian. You don't know what Christianity is. He said, these ones, they look like Jesus. They afflicted their world with righteousness. They afflicted their world with fire that their world cannot change. That's why the world definitely changed, rather. That's why he said, he maketh his angel spirit, but his ministers, they are flames of fire. We are not English speakers. We are not orators. We are not motivational speakers. We are men that afflict our world with fire. Because there is a darkness that we must expel. If you cannot preach the gospel, you have no right talking. What are you talking about? The man went blind. They carried so much of God's government. That was why they were apostles. They were not apostles by Titus. They were apostles because anywhere they showed up, they brought the government of God. It's either you repent or you back out. They didn't come to entice men. They said, when I came unto you, I did not come with excellency of speech, declaring unto you the counsel of God. I choose to know nothing among you, save Christ and him crucified. I was with you in fear and in trembling, but I knew nothing. I only preached Christ so that your wisdom will not stand in the wisdom of men. Your faith will not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. He was setting men on fire. He was breaking men from the chains of darkness. How come? You have been in one class for four years, yet nobody feels your vibration. And then you run around and you say you are a Christian. You don't know what Christianity is. He said, these ones, they look like Jesus. They afflicted their world with righteousness. They afflicted their world with fire that their world cannot change. That's why the world definitely changed, rather. That's why he said, he maketh his angels spirit, but his ministers, they are flames of fire. We are not English speakers. We are not orators. We are not motivational speakers. We are men that afflict our world with fire. Because there is a darkness that we must expel. If you cannot preach the gospel, you have no right talking. What are you talking about? The man went blind. They carried so much of God's government. That was why they were apostles. They were not apostles by Titus. They were apostles because anywhere they showed up, they brought the government of God. It's either you repent or you back out. They didn't come to entice men. They said, when I came unto you, I did not come with excellency of speech, declaring unto you the counsel of God. I choose to know nothing among you, save Christ and him crucified. I was with you in fear and in trembling, but I knew nothing. I only preach Christ so that your wisdom will not stand in the wisdom of men. Your faith will not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. He was setting men on fire. He was breaking men from the chains of darkness. How come? You have been in one class for four years, yet nobody feels your vibration. And then you run around and you say you are a Christian. You don't know what Christianity is. He said, these ones, they look like Jesus. They afflicted their world with righteousness. They afflicted their world with fire that their world cannot change. That's why the world definitely changed, rather. That's why he said, he maketh his angel spirit, but his ministers, they are flames of fire. We are not English speakers. We are not orators. We are not motivational speakers. We are men that afflict our world with fire because there is a darkness that we must expel. If you cannot preach, if there's one thing that I ask of you, my Savior, the they carry so much of God's government. It's not the stage and not the crowd and not the mind. Praying our intercessors. Hallelujah. Before we go to this, this issue, it's something that everybody, if you really want to make heaven, that's what you want. 
If your goal is to make heaven at the end of it all, this is one of the issues you have to address in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. We live in a world where the enemy has used this particular word, sex, ravaging the whole world. The saying is an adage in Igbo language. It says that a person that you will eventually open, there is no need. Okay, you guys said you have good news. Let's share. Hi guys, we have good news. I Maybe. want to talk, please. We had spelling bee today. <laughs> so, all of us qualified for the next, next round. round for the second round. So, you guys tell them your positions. Yes, I got first position. Okay. I got hot dry first. Your position, you not got your third position. No. I got third too. Okay. I got first. Okay, wow. And hopefully we'll qualify for the last round and win it. Woo! And then we'll win our prizes. Yay! I hope there's money. Congratulations, guys. Thanks. Thanks, mommy. Thanks, Bye. Thank you. 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 Th